Chicago Robinson and his team had finally taken over the NFC East. Now that they were in first place, it was up to them to keep it that way. It would be a tough road ahead though for the sophomore quarterback, as the next four games once again featured plenty of divisional matchups, and first on the docket was a trip to New York. Starting out first and 10, Robinson back to throw. He's going to check down for his first completion of the day, bringing up a second and six in the shotgun. Pressure coming, he would go down hard. Third and 14, looking to convert first time today right side that would be completed to banks for a first down and this drive would stay alive facing a second and three robinson rolling out right side completes it to armstrong as that would bring a fresh set of downs first and ten robinson checking down to hankerson across the middle as he would pick up eight third and two cooley in motion Handoff to Ramon Hayes as he's met in the backfield. And they would be forced to punt as we move to the second quarter under a minute to go. That would be completed to the rookie Winfield. Left side, he would have the first down. Fresh set, rolling out to the right. Robinson on the run. And he's going to complete that to Hankerson. Tiptoe along the right sidelines as back to throw again to the end zone. Hankerson has it for a touchdown. And Washington would go up 7-0. Play action. Robinson down for a sack. That would bring us to third and six. Back to throw. Scanning the field to the left side. Complete to Armstrong as they would pick up the first down Cooley in motion it would be play action to Mays Robinson rolling out to his right on the run and that's gonna be incomplete second and ten back to throw under 30 seconds to go in the third quarter and Cooley has that pass midfield as that would bring up third and ten back to throw again across the middle and Armstrong has it this time for a first as third and seven Robinson Rolling out to the right to the end zone. That would be completed to Armstrong as Washington would go up 14 to 7. And Ramon Hayes is going to take this one all the way to the end zone. And that would cap off the game and Washington would walk away with a victory. 21 to 7 over the Giants here in New York. As once again, Robinson would win player of the game. And with that win, that would put his team at 6 and 3 on the year. And Robinson would find himself tied for the second most touchdown in the league and it was evident that Robinson was becoming a top quarterback in the National Football League and this Washington offense was starting to look unstoppable let's see if the offense could continue its dominant success this week against Philadelphia at home first and ten Hand off to Ramon Hayes and the rookie back takes it up for a first down as they would go right back to him on the ground and once again he picks up another first. From the 39 to Philadelphia play action Robinson across the middle to Hankerson for a first down. Setting up a third and three from the 10 play action rolling out to his right to the end zone and Scaife has it as that would put Washington on the board. This game would be tied up at seven apiece and the rookie back Ramon Mays is going to take this one down inside the five and break into the end end zone as Washington would take the lead but Philadelphia would tie it back up at 14 apiece Robinson to the right side that's knocked in complete fourth down as we move to the fourth quarter third and six Robinson back to throw he's gonna step up he goes down for a sack but they're gonna stay on the field fourth and seven to try to pick it up but once again he's met in the backfield and that stop from Philly's defense would hold off Washington as Philly would get the 21 to 14 win here in Washington and just as we were saying how good Robinson was looking he goes out and plays a game like that after last week's horrible performance we had to hit practice hard and our team put in a lot of work this week as we didn't want to be embarrassed at home two weeks in a row opening up against Minnesota down seven nothing already here in the second quarter that would be completed to Cooley check down for five yards as a handoff to Hayes he's gonna take it right side he has some room to run he's gonna slip one tackle down the right sideline he has one man to beat can he beat him? Yes, he will. Another touchdown for the rookie back as he's been having a great rookie campaign so far as that's completed to Hankerson down the right sideline and he'll take this to the end zone as well. Tied 14 all here, just 20 seconds and counting left to go in the first half. Deep pass completed to Banks and he's down inside the 10. First and goal to go from the eight. Robinson to the end zone, completes it to Banks and the refs come in and say he has it for a touchdown. As we would head to the second half up 21 114 Robinson right side that's going to be completed to Cooley along the right sideline. First and 10 inside Minnesota territory looking to extend this lead as Hankerson has it. Fresh set of downs backed up to a third and five now. Robinson setting up the screen to Mays. He has it right side and some room to run as he would be pushed out of bounds. Now down to the one yard line and Mays would cap off this drive with a touchdown and Washington would go up 28-14. They would just need a first down here. Ramon Mays would get it and Washington would kneel out the clock as they would walk away with a victory here at home bouncing back after last week.
with a 28-14 win over the Minnesota Vikings. And our rookie running back has had himself a great season so far. And that win still only kept us at one game ahead of the division though, as we were tied for the second best record in the NFC. So it was going to be a tough battle to finish out the season here. And we would look to continue our winning streak here against Atlanta. As early on, leaning on the rookie back Mays, he would pick up a first down, setting up a play action completion to Winfield. First and 10, again, another play action. Robinson back to throw to the right side to Armstrong. He would have the first down, down to the 24 of Atlanta. Robinson right side, and it's Cooley with the reception this time. Setting up a second and goal from the nine. Robinson, pressure coming. He's going to step up, take it himself, and fight into the end zone for a touchdown. As we would tie it up at seven apiece. Chicago back to throw again, completes it to Cooley across the middle. As he would have that into Atlanta territory, under a minute to go here in the first half. A deep pass to Armstrong that would be completed. Second in goal from the 10, Robinson scanning, going right side. That's completed to Winfield, and the rest would come in. They would talk and signal it a touchdown. As we would head to the second half, up 14-7, to backed up to our own end zone here. But Ramon Hayes would get us out of that situation as we would give it off to him again. He breaks a couple tackles. Another big gain here from the back as he's really been dominant this second half of the season so far as up the middle, he has some room to run. One man to beat and he will be brought down at the one, setting up first and goal, and we would give it to him again for a touchdown, as that would put us up 21 to seven over Atlanta. Play action, Robinson left side, that's completed to Armstrong. He has some room to run, he breaks one tackle, all the way down inside the 10 and into the end zone. As we go up 28 to 14, moving to the fourth quarter now, Ramon Hayes again with it. He's gonna take it right side for a big gain. And first and goal, Robinson back to throw. He would step up again and take it himself for a second rushing touchdown. And that would give Washington their second straight home win to close out this episode. As once again, Chicago Robinson named your player of the game. And rightfully so, as that was one of his best games of the season yet. And with that win, we would finally start pulling away with the division lead. And with only four games left in the season, there's only one question left to be answered. And that is, can we finally win the division here in season number two?